on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling, chasing dreams since I was 14. Hey Steve, what's going on? Steve, you're on the Macintosh team. What's a Macintosh? Things I fucking do for you people. Playing Tower Toppler, seeing shitty movies, it's all the fucking same to me now. I give and I give and I give, because I'm that kind of fucking person. So, see, uh, this week we were cleaning the house here, and we cleaned out the kitchen. We, we had quite a bit of expired shit, so we were going to make a huge shopping run, and whenever that happens, I go see a movie. And this time, since they were going to be doing a huge shop and run, I figured I could probably squeeze in two movies. And that's really easy with deal flicks. I get 60% off of fucking tickets and concessions. And to be completely honest, these are both movies I would not have fucking gone to see without deal flicks. So thank you, deal flicks. Thank you for making my life a living fucking hell now. Oh, so many fucking movies I'm going to see, and I have no fucking excuse anymore to not see them. Because it's like, oh, it's, ticket prices are too much. Well, you only got to pay 40% price. God fucking damn it. <sighs> so, saw two movies this week. Right off the bat, I was put into a bad mood because two movies I, were gonna, I was going to go see was, number one, this one, Jobs, and the other was going to be Kick-Ass. But see, the theater I go to... It's a very, it's an old, smaller theater. It only has six screens. So they really have to pick and choose there, what they get. Yeah, I could go to Regal Cinema up in Franksburg, but, you know, it's it's so much easier to go to Charlottesville. This is a lot closer. And plus the side we enter Charlottesville on, coming from this way, the first thing you pretty much are at is the movie theater. So it really works out. Even if sometimes, you know, it being a really small theater really fucks me over in the end. Because guess which movie they didn't get this week? Yeah, Kick-Ass. And I kind of understand that because, like, Elysium was still there and Two Guns was still there. Which actually kind of surprised me. That surprised me to the point where I was like, fuck, I should have ordered tickets for two guns i should have even though it looks like the most generic action movie ever i'm pretty goddamn fucking sure it's better than jobs and fucking planes was that's the other fucking movie i saw fucking disney's planes <sighs> so guess which one of these was worse guess just guess Ant eh, wrong fucking jobs We'll get into fucking planes in a bit. That's going to be another video. But first, let's fucking tear apart fucking Jobs, shall we? Jobs is, of course, the anticipated biopic of Steve Jobs, the founder of, well, one of the founders of Apple Computers. And I am not joking when I say this. This is probably one of, if not the worst, bio-documentary-type movies I've ever seen. There's so many fucking problems with this movie. I don't even know where to fucking begin. The movie starts out with the unveiling of the iPod. Yeah, you would think that would probably be the point where they end the movie. No, there's three real main kind of eras this covers. It covers... The 70s, and when he dropped out of college and started Apple Computers, it covers the 80s and his slow decline there and his eventual ouston at Apple Computers. And then it, it, it has his glorious fucking return in the 90s. You know what's so fucking funny, too? This movie is both at the same time very fucking shallow. Like, it never fucking explains any. It's almost like... Lone Ranger in a weird fucking way where there's like plenty of fucking setups in this. Like they, like there's this tech conference, which is one of the worst fucking scenes. And it could have been a great scene because like just for old geeks, like seeing, like fucking seeing Commodore 64, like that, that, that made me start fucking angrily sweating. 
getting all red faced because I'm like, fucking Tower Toppler. But then, like, they unveil the Apple II at this tech conference, and Steve Jobs is like, the Apple II! And everybody's like, oh, oh, it's the fucking Apple II! Holy shit! And it never explains! It doesn't fucking explain why the Apple II was fucking important! It doesn't explain why fucking Apple computers in general was fucking important! It doesn't give you an understanding of why this shit was important, why computers before the internet fucking mattered in any way, shape, or form. It just like, sometimes you see text on the screen, it's like, ooh. And never just like, dude, seriously, this was a huge advancement because up until this point, only like the five wealthiest sultans in fucking, in Asia could fucking afford them. Now, like, because of Jobs and a lot of other fucking, you know, garage fucking computer engineers, computers were now a fucking, you know, something the masses could afford. Never fucking explained! On the one hand, it's really fucking shallow because it never fucking explains something. Also, another thing that's completely missing from this movie, the internet. Never a fucking mention of the internet. And, you know, how fucking important that shit fucking was. I guess if it wasn't made by fucking Steve Jobs, this movie isn't fucking worried about. And that's the second fucking point I keep trying to get onto, but I'm so fucking angry. I'm just hopping back like a really fucking angry frog on two shitty fucking lily pads. This movie is shallow, yet it is a total fucking jerk-off fest. Like, it completely fucking, like, plasters over any real negative fucking sides of Jobs. Like, it doesn't really go into, like, like, there's one mention of him being fucking adopted. Like, the stuff at, at Atari is a breeze fucking past where, like, everybody hated him at Atari because he wouldn't fucking bathe and he didn't wear shoes and he smelled like fucking dog shit. That shit's kind of fucking glossed over. Him fucking completely abandoning his first fucking child, much like how his fucking parents abandoned him, completely fucking glossed over. It's only mentioned towards the end where it's like, oh, I've reconciled with my first daughter. This whole fruititarian shit is glossed over. Illnesses are glossed. It's just like anything that would make fucking Steve Jobs seem like a relatable, normal fucking human being, completely fucking gone from this movie. It is just, it is a complete and utter fucking jerk-off fest. It's not even a good jerk-off fest at that. The level of fucking research in this movie is something that would be in a, in a, a fucking D-minus middle school fucking grade paper. Just like Steve Jobs founded fucking Apple Computers in 1970. Blah, blah, blah. Then the Apple II came out. and It's just fucking nonsense. You know how the movie fucking ends? With the fucking development of the iMac. You fucking remember those fucking stupid things? No, you don't, because nobody fucking does. It's like, oh my god, my computer can have like a little fucking transparent blue shell or a green shell on it? Ooh, and it's named after fruit? I gotta buy one of those! And it's a fucking ten times more expensive than a PC and fucking shittier? Holy shit! iMacs are gonna change fucking everything! <sighs> so yeah, like, another fucking thing. Like, the, the, the direction in this movie's fucking awful. And, like, it's two fucking hours of just, like, set up fucking Ashton Kutcher. Ashton fucking Kutcher. Like, he was the main fucking strike against this because he doesn't fucking look like Steve fucking Jobs. He looks like Ashton fucking Kutcher. He doesn't talk like Steve Jobs. He kind of walks like Steve Jobs. Bravo, fucking Ashton Kutcher. You, you fucking you know, built a fucking multi-million dollar fucking movie. You couldn't fucking, you couldn't pronounce shit like Steve Jobs. You couldn't fucking cut your Stupid fucking long hair. I know I'm one to fucking talk about that. But you know, if I was in a multi-million dollar movie where millions, maybe even billions of fucking dollars were at stake, I'd cut my goddamn fucking hair to look like the motherfucker I'm supposed to be fucking playing. He just, and he just, he's fucking awful. He has like two, he has like 
Oh well, that's uh, you know this is uh, this is the Apple thing. You know this is the uh, the Apple too. It's really going to revolutionize the world of computer. He's got whispery voice. And he's got like you're fired because you don't fucking agree with me. Two fucking most. Wow, Ashton Kutcher, greatest fucking actor ever. I fucking hate August. I really, like this is a tangent, but like August is. And to be fair, like Elysium came out and I love that and fucking World's End is going to come out next week and I'm probably going to fucking love that too because you know it's Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost like how can I not love that but like god damn I'm fucking tired of August being the dumping ground for fucking movies that are just either completely dog shit or they don't know where to fucking stick it in the rest of the year. Like, that's why, that's why Elysium and World's End were fucking put in August. It's like, look at all the fucking shitty comedies and fucking sci-fi movies that glutted the fucking summer lineup. Even the good fucking, there was, even, and, you know, not everyone was bad. Like, sci-fi had some particular good ones, like Pacific Rim, and if you count it as science fiction, Iron Man. Oblivion, well, Oblivion came out in February, so that, you know, that kind of doesn't count. So, yeah, fucking anything else. Again, it's just like, it, too, like, Planes, Planes was fucking bad, but Planes was at least 97 fucking minutes. It's an hour and a half, so it's like... This is bad, but at least it's fucking quick. At least I'm not spending fucking, like, enough time where I could fucking, like, beat a fucking video game. I could, I could literally play fucking Metal Slug 1 twice and beat it, like, twice in a fucking row. I'd be doing something actively fucking productive. Kinda, sorta, maybe, you know, playing video games. But, like, again, I could have been doing something else. I could have... A better use of my fucking time would have been like taking a uh, take taking this. Wait, I got something. Let me dig up here. I got something. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Taking this fucking ice pick and just ramming, ramming it, ramming it, ramming it right into my fucking dick for two and two hours and seven fucking minutes. That's the running time of this piece of shit. Two hours and seven fucking minutes right into my dick right there right there fucking that would have been a better fucking use